This is a quick demo what we are going to build in this video. You can see that it is fully functional and animation is also working. So we have made this accordion by using Tailwind CSS and simple HTML and a little bit JavaScript code. If you also want to learn how to build it, then please continue watching this video. Hello and welcome to IAS Tech channel. In today's tutorial, we are diving into the world of web design by creating a responsive accordion using Tailwind CSS. Now you might be wondering what's an accordion. It's collapsible list of items that can be expanded or hidden. It's not only useful, but also elevates the UI design of any website. As for Tailwind CSS, it's a game changer, a utility first CSS framework that lets you create custom designs rapidly. So let's get started. For this tutorial, make sure you have a basic grasp of HTML and CSS, Node.js and NPM installed. Though this is only if you are keen on setting up Tailwind from scratch. And of course, a text editor I will be using VS Code. If you are just starting out, the quickest way to use Tailwind CSS is by linking it to CDN. For the pros out there, we will also cover setting up Tailwind with NPM or Yarn and purging any unused CSS to ensure your builds are optimized. So let's jump in. So currently this is the Tailwind CSS website that I have in my computer running. It is very simple and basic hello world that you can just remove and start from scratch. First of all, I would like to add the background color. Now we will add a container for the accordion. So in, in that accordion, there would be uh, multiple sections and every section will have one header and one content section. So this is our one item, but we will have multiple items so that we could collapse them and see the animation. So in the header, first of, first of all, I would like to add some text. In the content section, we will add some content. All right. So this is how it is looking right now. So first thing is that I want to limit the width of this container. So for that, I would add, actually we don't need to add the margin auto because it is already in the middle because of the justify center and it is vertically in the middle because of the item center that we have already added in the body. So now I need to add some padding around my header. So let's do that. And also I need to add some background color that should be darker than the background of the body. Now I need to add some border radius, but before that, let me change the text color. So maybe we should add the text white to all of things in the body. I guess the header section should have the bold text. This is our main accordion. So here I will add border radius. I have to add overflow hidden so that we could uh, see the difference for the radius. All right. Now we need to add some background color to the content as well. Okay. Next, we need to add some padding to our content. For that, we will just use P-5. You can add more padding if you want to. Maybe 8. Okay, next I want to add some line height and I want to increase the text size. I think Excel is fine. Further, I want to add margin bottom below the paragraph tag. So just add MB5. All right. And maybe the text color should be different than plain white. I think this is looking great. Now we need to add icon to the right side. So for that, we need to get icon from the Tailwind CSS website. And this is the website hero icons. And I guess it is from the Tailwind CSS. As you can see, now I want to add the icons. If it is open already, then the icon direction should be up. So let me copy this SVG. And in the header, I need to add this icon. So I need to wrap this one in one div. 
so that I could make use of Flexbox to fix the alignments. All right, I have added the SVG. <clears throat> so now here I will add flex and then space between justify between that would add the space between two elements also i want to vertically align everything in the middle in the header for that i will, would use item center also when you hover on the header it should display the uh, cursor pointer so let's add it i can add multiple items as well so let's do that i'm going to copy this item and paste it below and this time i will make it step two and in the overview i will add information or something else anything you can add so by default all of other uh, actually everything should be hidden so we will start from here so to hide this to uh, collapse this item we need to set the height zero to the content section here i will add h zero and overflow hidden okay also all of the padding should also be zero so i will remove it by default so you can see that by default it will look like this and also if it is collapsed there should be a border below so that we could see the uh, separation between every accordion maybe we need to add a gap between every item i guess so instead of adding bg to the content i will move it and i will add it to the item and now here i will add one second not here i will add it to the main container and here i will add flex and it should be in the column direction and also there should be a gap of one all right uh, but this is still too much so to fix that i will add custom one pixel I think that is sufficient for now. Same thing should ha be happened for the second item as well. So actually, let me copy paste it for the second item. So I will remove the second item and I will use this one so that we could have same styling. Actually, before that, let us add the second icon. So if it is uh, collapsed, then icon should be in the downward direction, this one. So let me copy the SVG use it right now you will see uh, both icons are visible but there should be only one icon at a time so for example if it is uh, uncollapsed or if it is collapsed then one of the icons should be visible or if there is an active class then it should uh, show one of those icons so for that i will add active class here so basically this icon should be visible if uh, the item is active and if not then this icon should be visible so i can add another class here active icon and <clears throat> you can call it inactive icon okay now we can design it in the so we have to use the input.css file for that I would use item dot active and here I can say that if it is active then we should display none the inactive icon and we have to add it here okay and here you can use apply and add the tailwind CSS class hidden and now let now let's test it so you can see that it is hidden so in the opposite case we want to display none to the other icon that is active icon if there is no active icon on it okay by default active icon should be invisible and if there is an active class on it then we will make it display block
now let's remove the active class and let's see if the style is working for the other case okay yes arrow is working and also if there is an active class on it then the content should be visible and the height zero should be removed so we can by default remove from it so in the input.css file i need to add item.active and space content actually you can say that if item is not active if it has no active class then on its in its content i want to apply these classes and also i want to add all of the padding by default and if there is item dot active then i want to set p8 to the content and if it is not active then i want to remove the uh, vertical padding so for that i would set py zero okay now let's remove the active class again and let's see if that works correctly okay i think everything is working correctly last thing that we need to do is that we need to add some animation to the content area for that i will add transition you can use it for all and you can use the duration as well maybe 500 we can change it if we don't like it and now i'm going to remove the active class from it and after that let me add an id to it accordion and now we will make use of javascript to register our events for that i add a script tag and here i will get all of the items in the accordion for that let items of document dot get query selector all that will give us all of the elements with that selector now we need to use the for each and in that for each i will get every dom element item now i can register the event item dot add event listener and here let me select the header because i want to i want to be able to click on the header instead of everywhere in the item so for that let me use this class i want to uh, listen to the click events on every header element so whenever somebody click on that we will get that element so we want to uh, get its closest parent so for that i would use e dot target our current target dot closest item just to test it i want to show it in the alert just to see if that is working yes you can see that alert is working and it is giving us the element as you can see so now we can add the active class on it for that i will use class list dot toggle active okay now let's test it all right you can see that it is working fine but there are some strange things happening so for that i think we will have to improve i will remove the active class i want to keep the padding x all of the time or maybe this is fine so let's try by default i want to set the height i want to give it a fixed height so let's say i want to add 400 pixel or maybe 200 pixels now oh, let's see or maybe 300 now you can see the animation is very smooth now we can add multiple items so let's do that okay you can see that now a guardian is working fine you can add another behavior as well so for example if you click on any other uh, item it should collapse all of other uh, items first then it should activate that item so for that select all of the items like from here and i will use the for loop again so make sure to add it here as the first line of this function and i will pass a callback function Uh, for that use the class list and i want to remove the active class so this will basically remove all of the uh, remove the active class from all of the items so let me actually add a comment here 
okay now let's try it you can see if i click on any other one then it will collapse all others and it will activate the item that we just clicked let me make some changes for example i want to add different titles in every heading in every header All right, now it makes more sense. So you can see that everything is working perfectly fine. All right, look at what you have created, a beautiful responsive accordion using Tailwind CSS. If you design any unique accordions, share them with the community. We would love to see them. Got ideas for next Tailwind tutorial? Drop a comment and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Ayaz Tech. Until next time.